Hello everyone, it's Amy again, back with another speed build. So today's speed build is my first tiny living build, which I decided to do a tier 1 tiny home. And I thought the best way to do that was to do a little like trailer mobile home thing. So this has 32 tiles. I believe I used up all 32. Um, so yeah, I love doing little mobile homes and trailers and everything, which is why I love building with Strangerville so much. And I feel like Strangerville is like the best place to put these kind of builds. So I'm really excited to um, start filling up Strangerville for my save file that I've been working on for three years. So I'm planning to do a bunch more like tiny living builds. I feel like this pack works really well with like a bunch of different packs, like I know it works well with like the off the grid lottery, it'll probably work really well with university so I have a bunch more different builds to do and I can't wait to show you guys. Let me know what you guys think of Tiny Living in the comments. I am a small channel so I have time to reply to every comment so let's chat about our thoughts and opinions on this pack. Personally I love Tiny Living. I have seen um, some people online saying that it's like a my first pet stuff too and that it should have been included in university, to which I respectfully disagree. I understand where that's coming from, but I think this is a really good standalone pack, which it's definitely not like required to have university to play with it. I feel like it just works, it happens to work really well with university. I think Tiny Living has a really unique style for the build by items, um, but I feel like it's not like too unique, so I think it'll work like really well with other packs like Bowling Mate stuff and Get Famous, stuff like that. Um, all of the items are like really, really, really cute. The only problem I had was like the wood swatches. It's really hard to find like existing wood swatches that'll work really well. Like I had a really hard time finding like counters to put in the kitchen because they didn't go well with like the bar stools that we got with Tiny Living. And I just love the general idea of the pack too. I feel like tiny homes are pretty like trendy and they're becoming like more common these days so I feel like it was a good idea on the Sims team's behalf to create a pack like catering to that. And I think they did a really good job too with the perks that we get from living in a tiny home sort of like an incentive to live in a tiny house because I feel like there's not really much reason to do that but I really do like the perks like the um I think with the tiniest house which this one is you can get like skill boost which really helps it a lot in everyday gameplay although I feel like for challenges and stuff it might make it a bit too easy but I find myself not doing a lot of like challenge type gameplay which I feel like the speed boost will really help in like regular gameplay. And I also really like the challenge of building tiny homes. Like as you can see here, there's a, I did a one tile bathroom, which I actually got that idea from Simarchy, so go check her out. <laughs> I know she's a big channel, she doesn't need my publicity. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool idea that she had where she did the new shower from university and a sink and a toilet all in one tile and it actually works but it took me ages to get it to function properly um, it does require move objects so if you download this house make sure you have move objects on and yeah, i'm surprised it actually does work because it's all in one tile it's it's crazy so shout out to simarchy doing the lord's work thank you so much for creating this so I did end up having to cut out that footage from the speed build because it was just a lot of trial and error. Um, so if you want to figure out how to do it, you can go to her Twitter. She has a, a video of it, I believe. So I sort of used her video as like a guideline and I basically just copied her. I think I used a different toilet, but I'm not sure. It was really hard to figure out like, because for some reason some toilets and some sinks don't work. So honestly I don't remember if I used the same thing as her, but it was yeah, it was a lot of trial and error. I had to keep going into live mode and having my sim try it out. And it just took ages so I didn't wanna leave all that mess in there. So I apologize for that, but 
it is fully functional and I don't think you can use like a door or an archway so that's why I had to use the curtains. Overall I really do love tiny living. I think this sort of pack is really good for like a university gameplay or a regs to riches. Uh, also let me know if you want to see an LP from me in the future. I do love doing like regs to riches. Um, I'm basically open to anything. I'm kind of like in a weird place with my channel right now because I feel like I have less and less time every day to get videos done so I'm just doing what I can. So let me know if you want to see any more content from The Sims, if you want an LP or anything. I also do play Planet Zoo, fucking love that game. Um, I play The Sims 3 now on my new computer. I play Stardew Valley, Minecraft, so let me know if you guys want to see any other games. I know I have Sims in the name of my channel, but I'm not limited. I love any game. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I am looking to do a lot more than just speed builds. You know, I want to try new things. So yeah, feel free to leave me feedback in the comments. I am interested in knowing like, what you guys want to see. So yeah, we're getting to the end of the video. So if you want to download this house, if I remember to upload it, it'll be on my gallery. My origin ID is Amy J. Sims. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're about to jump into the screenshots, so I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!